And James Gilbert, not the summer like weather we had <laughs> yesterday, but as those polls closed this afternoon, many voters said that they were extremely cold waiting in those lines. What can they expect tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, you see those uh, images of people wearing heavy jackets waiting in line. And yesterday we were see seeing people in short sleeve shirts. Uh, so hopefully we don't get caught off guard. But tomorrow, I think a pretty decent day. Today, a high of 62. Don't let that fool you, though. We woke up in the 40s. That was a midnight high, we call it. Temperatures really dropped throughout the day. Your voting forecast for Sunday for those people that are doing early voting. The polls close at 3 p.m. Uh, at 9 a.m. It's going to start off around 40 degrees and we're pretty much stuck in the 40s. A little bit of a light breeze by the afternoon, but not a bad day overall. Satellite and radar showing not much, but you go 800 miles west and we've got winter storm warnings across some of the upper Midwest, uh, so we'll watch that from afar. None of it is heading in our direction, but we do have some rain showers as we get into the work week. Uh, look at your future cast here showing yeah, I could see a drop or two early Sunday morning. Lake enhanced a rain shower or two, but I bet we see some sun as we get into the afternoon. A pretty decent cool fall day. We'll call it to finish off the weekend. Rain showers arrive Monday, though. It looks like yet again we could see a soaker of a Monday. That's rain for your morning commute could be some afternoon showers that linger there as well. So if you do want to do a little bit of uh, agro tourism, maybe grab some apples uh, from your local apple farm. Watch out for an early shower afternoon clearing. News 8 eight day forecast looking beyond Sunday and Monday. A lingering shower possible Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday look pretty quiet. Highs in the lower 50s and then we should clear out pretty decent finish to the work week. Hopefully a clear Halloween, Jack. James Gilbert, thank you. Now for the